Bye-bye. Morning. Morning. So we going. We have our passport here. Yeah? Allow me the money. Wait here. Yeah? Let me take this down. Oh, you know what? Leave that and come and stay with this. Leave that there. Stay with this one. Let me go and bring the other one. So, this is the hotel. Don't smell my bag. <laughs> Okay, we have to go up. I don't understand. Why is that taxi there? They are not here. Maybe they are not allowed to park here. <sighs> what do we do? Okay. Thank you. Oh, Jesus.
<coughs> morning. Morning. Yeah. yeah, we are from UK. We're meant to go back on Tuesday and our flight got cancelled. So we are stuck here. Guys, um, update. So we went to we went to the British Embassy and um, they were closed, and so they couldn't help us. It's only the security we saw, and they gave me a number to call, and they said they can. Oh, why is this thing coming down? Sorry. They say they can't help because they are only security. The British um, people that are meant to help, they are not opening today. They are not opening till Monday because tomorrow is Christmas. So they are not opening till Monday. So anything, I have to come back on Monday. And they gave me a number to call to book an appointment. So I have called the british um embassy and i spoke to i spoke to someone and for the first time i came here i was able to understand properly what they are telling me on the phone um the lady i spoke was she was british her english was yeah i was able to understand everything so she said um they are trying their every possible best to make sure they fly all the citizens back to the UK that um, there are a lot of us like that, that we are stuck in, in Sabod. And they are trying every possible best to make sure that their border is open, that they are the one that closed the border, that they are border. So it's, I'm hearing different things. When I went to the airport the other day with my daughter, they told me it's not their fault that it's closed, there's... Uh, this virus and then our government shut down nobody can fly that's why the fly were cancelled but now um, my own people my british people were telling me now that it's not they didn't tell them not to fly they are the one that closed the border that they don't want to fly to the uk so urgent and they are trying their every possible best to let them open at least that we that we are stuck here they should bring us back home so um so I just have to let her know about um, my finances problem. And she said the only advice you give me now that I should call like family member back home in UK. If they can assist me in any way with my daughter, that is the only way. And and I'm like, because of thing that is going on, you know, like the way they are just saying is as if my family member are so rich, I'll just call them. So anyway, that is only thing they said, but um, do I have insurance? I said I don't know because I booked through agents. I don't know. I don't think so. And she was like, hmm, it's not possible. Like, all traveling should have um, um, insurance. I said I cannot remember my agent mentioning things like that. I cannot remember. I don't recall about insurance. So she said, if they I have insurance, I have to call the insurance people. They will help me in situation like this to provide accommodation because that is what it's about. Blah 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 blah. And okay, I'm like, and I should also contact my agent. They should be checking. They should see any available flights. They have to book me and fly me. So I've contacted my agent now, but they haven't replied. And the time now, why is this thing behaving like this? Sorry guys, wait. 
you yeah, have contact my agent because their time now is about 8 8 8 30 in the morning and here is 11 30 so the time difference so oh, oh, hopefully so it's only my agent i have to look up to now yeah and um my friend that is helping me to see any flights available if they see any flights available they should just book me and so anyway we have to come back to the hotel even though we check out this is not the way i thought it would be so i have to check we have to check back in the hotel when we come back we're like okay let's try another hotel we went there it was even more expensive than this the hotel was 380 per night and there's one hotel that have restaurant that we used to eat that one is uh, 230 with breakfast but that hotel my spirit does not really i know this is not the time for you to be saying your spirit or that is bad enough like it's bad enough i'm stuck here with my daughter so um i don't want to stay in a room that is not welcoming is not friendly you know so it's here that we came we're launching was it yesterday or two days ago two days ago mm -hmm. this place was much friendly i slept very well like when i lie down i'm i'm on um youtube watching george uh, fumi <laughs> is it george fumi yeah, for me i watch her I, when my sleep catch me i sleep like newborn baby i don't even think of my worry and the reason why i slept very well is like the room is much it's very clean it's uh friendly my back is not hurting me compared to the old old hotel we're coming from my back like i have to use pillow to support my back as if i'm pregnant you know so it's clean it's nice so we, when we came back we went to another hotel we were just like okay even though the other one was cheaper 230 per night inclusive breakfast but this one is 300 inclusive breakfast so if we don't eat breakfast we pay 250 but i still prefer it because i'm i want to be even though i'm i'm not happy that i'm stuck here tomorrow is christmas and I know for sure there's no magic, 100%. There's nothing going tomorrow because I spoke to the people that they are in charge of all these things. They say there's nothing. Everything is still closed. And there's not even, they have not even updated them or give them information when it will be open. That they just hope soon. But they are trying their possible best to make sure that, you know, the board is open anytime soon. So I'm happy we are here. So I've paid for tonight and tomorrow, which is 500 because it's 250 per night. So I've given them 500 Turkish share just before we came in. So I booked tonight and tomorrow. So after that, whatever will happen. When I was, when we're coming, I took $100. So I exchanged it to Turkish share And that um, $100, they changed it for six hundred uh, seven hundred and seven hundred and sixty three seventy turkish euro so i after that seven hundred i've paid five hundred five six seven so i have like two hundred and sixty three left so and i have some money before from yesterday so i don't know so this is all the money I have now and I'm going to order you guys see I'm going to order um, the rice I, I ordered yesterday we had it for lunch and we also had it for dinner so I'm going to order again so we'll have it for lunch I'll have it for dinner I just finished speaking with the restaurant because I was worried like tomorrow what are we gonna eat because they are kebab like it's not it's not like the one we used to have in uk that oh you eat and we, we the next day you won't even want to eat more kebab the one they have here is slightly different is it just the smell it just ah uh, just so we we i don't even want to see it. when we're passing through this street and i was seeing it i feel like uh I'm like i don't want to see so i called the restaurant that they're gonna open tomorrow because tomorrow is christmas i don't remember any shop opening on christmas day back in uk but i mean especially restaurant 
and uh, they say oh, they are opening tomorrow but the program they will close early but they are opening normal time so they are there so i'm going to but the problem that the place is fat of our hotel so they charge yesterday i spent 200 yes so today i'm gonna spend 200 tomorrow i have to order something as well that will eat so at least we are not gonna be eating breakfast here we are not gonna pay 50 for breakfast so we'll just be buying the nigerian restaurants food i'll be eating to the day we we'll live here so that is the update so we are still talking talking and yes that's what is going on just to update you guys we are still stuck here and um pray for me guys because i don't know anymore i pray that yeah by the time you guys be watching this video at least i know i'll be back in uk i'll be back with my family so it's it's really kind of like <sighs> i don't know but yeah that's it mm -hmm. This is this is coleslaw. We didn't eat the coleslaw yesterday, <laughs> so we bought the same thing we had yesterday, which is beef. One, two, three, four. So this is 200 Turkish era and for delivery as well. Mm. Yeah, it's like the same thing they gave us yesterday. Yeah. So guys, we, uh, the time is, oh my goodness, the time is six, seven minutes past six in the evening. So we've not eaten anything since morning. When we came back from the British Embassy, I I sleep. I mean, what can I do? It's better for me to sleep. <laughs> it's better for us to sleep for the day to go faster so we know where we are going than just sit down and be thinking. So when I woke up, I just ordered. So we didn't have had anything since morning. This is our first meal of the day since morning. Although I told my daughter if she want breakfast, um, from the hotel she said no and they have um how to drink across the high street like cappuccino you know drink like that and she said she doesn't want anything so but at least she's we are okay with the rice so i called them i asked them when i called them earlier are they opening tomorrow tomorrow is christmas because this is the only thing i know that we can eat and uh, survive and I don't feel well. I feel very, very... Let me not to say it, but I don't feel well at all. But I know God is on control, guys. Yeah. So we bought water when we're coming. So at least we have water because... It's warm, Abby. I don't want to be going out every day because I don't have anything I'm buying. I want to stay in, especially with the virus going on now i don't want to be going out i want to stay in so we bought water and everything 
So, yeah. But, it's the same. I might have to go out tomorrow again to take some money because on Saturday, Sunday, Abi, is it they are locked down Saturday? Abi, they don't work on Saturday. They just said it was locked down on Saturday and Sunday. Is that how they normally do? Yeah, yes, mm. so because last week it was they have locked down Saturday and Sunday, so um, I want to make sure that I, I take some money. I, I prefer to take some dollars and change to Turkish share rather than taking the Turkish share. I think they charge or something like that. So I will be able to change in the change office. So I'll do that tomorrow to make sure that at least I have some cash with me. So I don't have to worry. You know, once you have money with you, you have roof over your head. The At least your problem, the list of your problem is soft, isn't it, guys? So anyway, we are just eating now. And um, yeah, that's what is going on. <laughs> <coughs> to you guys.